that sounds good. That should be a sound bite. But yeah. actually, I met the most nicest Hungarian person ever yeah. yesterday. Oh, All right. Uh, so yesterday, uh, I was going to this museum. Yeah. Uh, the Ludwig Museum. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, to be fair, they yeah. are having a few expositions there, and uh, you need to pay per exposition, which is fair. And oh, I you always to have to at some museums here. And yeah. one of them was really tight, yeah. and one of them was really good, and I remember being there before. But yeah. the moment I sort of walked out, it was around 5 o'clock, I saw them setting up like a table on the first floor, that was the floor that was closed, Right. and they were putting like wine glasses on it and everything. Yeah. So I just asked them, like, hey, is anything going on here later tonight? He said, like, yeah, it's the opening of the new exposition. Oh, so really? This was a new exposition in the, in in the museum. <laughs> uh, <laughs> here, no, 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 what are you doing? Sit down, sit down, sit down. Ah. Sit straight down. out of the bottle, you're fine. Okay. You just uh, sit there and listen for a bit, all right? Uh, we'll get okay. to you in a second. No worries. <laughs> so, uh, we're in the middle of an anecdote here. Yeah. What, what yeah. the fuck's going on here? So I was in this museum, and they were setting up like these drinks for like later that night. Yeah. So I just asked, what's going on? And there was an opening of a new uh, part of the new wing of the museum. Yeah. Um, and apparently they were having free drinks after, so I like, asked, like, okay, what time? Is it? So apparently it was at 6 o'clock, so I went away for an hour, had some uh, dinner uh, or some snacks, yeah. and I came back to the uh, museum, mm -hmm. and uh, there was this big crowd uh, like waiting to see the new hall, and everything was quite going quite well, and there were some speeches, and there was one bloke that like really like stuck out, and it was, it was this homeless man. So it was this homeless Hungarian man. Yeah. yeah. Um, there was like in the middle of this like very everybody was very well dressed, very posh. And uh, he did he just suddenly just pop out of nowhere? Was, no, it, so was he, he was, was he, he a gay crasher? No, actually he was there exactly at the time it started. Uh, and he went to listen to the speech, and there was no alcohol before the speech. But then the moment the speech ended, like he like sort of ran towards the bar. <laughs> he was the first to get a drink, and like of course, like they couldn't turn him away. And actually, he was a really nice guy. Uh, so he just got like a wine, and like so he, he drained it, and like he helped them out to drink all the alcohol for them. Yeah, basically, <laughs> like so apparently, and I actually, I would advise this to any, every homeless man or everyone on a budget. Just go to like an opening of a gallery, and there's like <laughs> <laughs> and it's good quality alcohol. Eh? Anywhere, I can tell you anywhere else in the world they get thrown out usually. Yeah. But you can't just throw someone out. Of course you looking. can. And actually, I can tell you why. Because uh, at the same time, there was this uh, Hungarian couple. They actually dressed up quite well. Uh, this man and this woman, and like both the man and the woman went to the bar, and they both got like two drinks, yeah. and like put them on the table, and then the guy went back to the other one. So they had like six drinks on the table and they were just sharing it themselves and they like put open this bag with like full of snacks so they were literally just there for the drinks whereas this homeless guy just went there and just like every time like he finished it and he went back to the bar and like <laughs> can i get another one and he just finished it and went back so i actually ended up talking to him so he was basically a raging alcoholic looking for a quick fix yeah no, no. So no. no. i find homeless people have the fucking most I interesting stories yeah i loved I always love talking to homeless people. Me too. Every it makes time you realise what you shouldn't do in life. No, that's not true. They know that's more right. about the time than you actually yep. expect. I so agree. if you're ever lost in a town, talk to a homeless person. Yep. They'll, they'll know everything. The way. They know all the uh, best fucking places too. And it was so funny because at that moment, yeah. because of that situation, everybody was sort of scared to talk to him. Or mm -hmm. actually, he started talking to people. And yeah. everybody sort and of everyone was away. shirking away. Yeah. Uh, which is so Typical. fucking unfair. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. like, he had just as much right to be there as me. Like, I didn't really belong there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just found out about it, and I was like, oh, why not? Yeah. And so I ended up talking to him, and he was actually a really good bloke, and we nice. ended up making some selfies together. Oh, wicked. And like, uh, in the end, he was even like, oh, could you send me the photos, please? Oh, so cool. But I was sending him the photos, and... It was, That's yeah, mad, man. I love that. I love that bloke. Yeah, so. but the thing in this country is actually the nicest people you're going to run into are the biggest country bumpkins. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That's a fact in this country. Most of the people in Budapest are not friendly. But they're, in a way, they're too restrained actually <laughs> Sorry, to I say just, anything. The way you talk about they're, 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 they're actually too restrained to <laughs> say anything, you know. That's true. Uh, they're, if you they're, they're, they are very restrained. No, but in, in the countryside, it's a different story. I actually stayed with people at home in their modest abodes, so to speak, and they were wonderful. If you could I'm not saying anything very much in three yeah. words, which words would you choose? Um, restra restrained, mm. introspective and otherworldly. Wow, otherworldly. 
Where would that word come from? Well, it's the logic of their language as well. If yeah. you see, if you see um, a, a 24 hour shop, they call it a night and day shop, not day and night. You know, it's, it's called <laughs> AL Nopoli Bolt. So they do It's a very Jew way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you got a point there because Budapest is a Hungarian Jewish city, actually, historically. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so until, the, Germans, the Germans were in Buda and the Jews were in Pest. Oh, so right. there weren't even any Hungarians, really. They were just living in the countryside as peasants at the time. You want to you duck out? Yeah, let's make a quick mic swap because I think there are two new people.